Our coverage continues this evening. California's Assembly Speaker now speaking out on the case against Assemblyman Joaquin Arambula. Speaker Anthony Rendon calls it troubling. CBS 47's Dennis Valera joins us live in studio with the latest. Dennis. Catherine, in a statement to us, Speaker Rendon adds the allegations definitely warrant a full investigation. While no new details on the investigation were released today, a local attorney says he understands why Arambula decided to make his case to the public. This seat means a lot to us. We know this is a community much like my district. Back in 2016, a Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon celebrated now Assemblyman Joaquin Arambula's win in Fresno. Two years later, he's still supporting his fellow Democrat, but wants his child abuse charges fully investigated, saying the allegation made against Assembly Member Arambula is troubling and warrants full investigation. As I've consistently maintained, I believe in due process prior to coming to a final judgment. We must allow the same to occur in this case. No more comments. No more comments at all. I, I interviewed with you guys last night. President Police Chief Jerry Dyer had few words to say after saying this yesterday about the child abuse controversy. The injury in this case is not on the buttocks. The chief's statement directly contradicting comments made by Arambula that he had only spanked his seven-year-old daughter on the buttocks the night prior to his Monday afternoon arrest on a misdemeanor charge of willful cruelty to a child. I did spank her on her bottom. It's something that it's not normal for us and yet we have to be able to have some ability to set some rules for our kids. Criminal defense attorney Michael McNeely says he understands why Arambula chose to speak to the media about the arrest. I believe that when Mr. Arambula came out and made a statement the next day, I can understand why he would do that. The, the police said he was accused of child abuse, which to the general public can include anything. Now, I did try to get a hold of Arambola's attorney, but she still hasn't, at this time, gotten back to me. Live here in studio, Dennis Valera, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.